Hey guys, we're gonna do an unboxing today of the the Roma F35. This is the Forest version. It has the Vist Cadex Vista and the Cadex Polar camera. This one comes with the Emu Flight software in it. Let's see if you can see that. So here's the quad. It comes with the manual cables. bag and the quad itself it's in a nice foam pad that's cool so here it is so these are the 2203 3.5 4200 kV motors yeah they're nice has the Cadex Vista in the back and the Cadex Polar camera in the front there you go and here is the stack you can just pull these all off there you go and then there is your ESC FC stack right there has a buzzer you can see it right in there let's see this is the plug and play version, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick in a crossfire and take it for a run. Here are the other things it comes with. It comes with these Gem Fan Hurricane 3520s. Comes with what is this? Oh, it's the receiver harness. What else is in here? Receiver harnesses. All these little goody QR code things. You see why this is the speed control wiring diagram. There is the flight controller and how to um, install your or wire up your uh, uh, receiver. Here is your Vista cable, USB-C cable, here is your manual, not manual, but parts diagram, and let's see what's in this bag, zip ties, you get five zip ties, one battery strap, Two battery straps. And these are the same length. If you're running an RSXR RSXR receiver, here are the antenna tube for those. Here is the antenna left hand circular polarized. Mamba antenna. There we go. Let's just squeeze right in. These look like different. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah. I think these are for the uh, camera mounts. Uh, a little, I don't know what this is. Maybe a plate for the stack. It, it looks like a 20 by 20 stack. Hole. Here are the nuts for the motors. They're aluminum nuts, I think. Or titanium or something. They're super light. Antenna caps for your antenna tubes. And a whole bunch of extra spare screws. And you get two battery pads. One right there. 
and another one. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put in the crossfire and put the props on and take it for a spin. Hey guys, so I went ahead and I mounted up the crossfire receiver. Uh, you can see it, it's right on the bottom right there. I mounted it on the, underneath the top plate. The antenna is towards the back and it just loops around and it mounts right there. So you can go ahead and see that. Um, it does come with a connector harness pre-soldered. So if you just go ahead and, uh, you know, just solder the, the other harness that comes with the cross, no, it doesn't come with it. It comes with this, um, it comes with the, the Diaton F35. It comes with the other end. So you just go ahead and solder that onto the crossfire and then, yeah, just connect it and yeah, it's all good to go. Set up Emu flight and then, yeah, you're good. Besides that, uh, yeah, the only thing I got was Umaguad grip. Um, I highly recommend these grips. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's the best grip out there, I would say. Um, the batteries I've tried, I tried an 850 GMB 850, uh, what was it, one of those 120C batteries. Um, uh, I got about two minutes of runtime. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't recommend something that small in milliamps. Um, so I went ahead and I got this Pyrodrone 1100 milliamp 75C 4S uh, light bill battery. Mm, it's okay. Um, the C rating is a little low, so yeah, I get a little bit voltage sag. Uh, but besides that, uh, I think the 1100 milliamp is kind of like the sweet spot for this quad. Um, just obviously with a higher C rating. Um, I did try it on the race day quad batteries the 1300 milliamp 100 c 4s batteries uh, it's kind of heavy um it's it's not that the the quad doesn't have the power to lift it it's it kind of flies a little um more sluggish um as in it, it pushes a lot more um that's kind of like the main difference i would say um i yeah but what i recommend are 1100 milliamp with a higher C rating, something, you know, 95 C plus. Um, uh, let's see. Overall, the quad has been really fun to fly. It flies uh, completely different um, compared to any other, like, 3-inch or lighter or smaller quad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a 3.5-inch, but the main difference is the weight of this quad is a lot heavier so it has a lot of float so it does fly a little different um it's uh, in a way it flies more like a five inch so i think it's a lot more fun you could throw the quad more with certain tricks so yeah all, um all in all uh, i'm very happy with this purchase um it's the quad i fly now uh, all the time i don't fly the um if you guys know i have the roma l3 um i don't fly that no more um but um, one thing I, I'm going to probably change is um, compared to the Roma L3, I do notice that the, the reception I get on the goggles isn't as good. And I'm thinking it's probably because, as you could see, yeah, all the antennas, well, both the antennas and the power battery power um, wires are all right there. Um, yeah, that's not good. It runs underneath of the uh, Vista. Uh, so I'll probably just go ahead and just take it out of this thing, the mount, and then just uh, just bring it up probably through here and zip tie it on this post and then just have it connected up here. It. Everything else, yeah, this quad, uh, highly recommend it if you want something a little bit more, um, I don't know, a quad that you could fly more like a five inch but smaller it's a lot quieter um yeah so if you guys have any questions um yeah go ahead and leave me a comment and uh, i'll get back to you as soon as i can um yeah thanks for watching guys have a good one and i'll go ahead and link the the flight video um to up here somewhere or or here okay guys have a good one thanks for watching